this is Tracy Rollins with BibleJournalingMinistries.com and if you can guess what today's tutorial is about, it is totally about washi tape. I have a ton of washi tape and in this video I'm going to show you a little bit about what it is and how you can use it in your Bible journaling and also how I store and keep mine organized. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Washi tape is basically a Japanese tape. It's really a thin thin tape that you mostly crafters use it as decorative. Um, so you can use it for decorative, you can use it to protect your page edges, you can use it for many, you can actually incorporate it into the design of your Bible journaling. It's not required, you don't need to have it, but a lot of people use it and it is pretty fun. Now I have a lot of washi tape because I have been crafting for ages now and I just collect it as I find it or if I'm working on a card I'll buy one and I just over time have collected quite a bit of it as you can see. The way I organize my washi tape is on a cheap embroidery hoop that I picked up at the Goodwill uh, for about 50 cents, but you can definitely get these online and at a craft store. So as I, as I find the colors that I like, I just go ahead and open up the embroidery hoop, slip the tape inside, and then I have everything organized and ready to go as I need it. Okay, so I organize mine by different, this is just kind of random, but I have like different colors where I can always, you know, my blacks and my golds, my pinks, my blues, greens, and oranges. So I have access to all my colors immediately, and they're not just in a, in a big box. And I actually hang these on my wall. Now, to use washi tape in your Bible, there are many different ways you can use it. You can use it to create little accent pieces. But what a lot of people have been using it for is to edge the edge of each chapter of their Bible. So instead of using Bible tabs or in addition to Bible tabs, what they do is they use a little bit of washi tape just so they know where each of the beginning of the chapters are. So I'm going to show you how they do it. So let me move some of these out of the way. And the washi tape I'm going to use for this is going to be the Illustrated Faith Cross Hat Cross washi tape which is super cute and I will link up to that. It's one of my favorites. So basically what you want to do is you want to take a piece of washi tape about the size that you want. Okay. I just kind of eyeball it but if you want to be precise definitely be precise. And the great thing about washi tape is it's not as, it's not as sticky as regular tape and it's just so pretty and decorative that it makes really great beautiful art in your Bible. So in order to edge the, each of the chapters of my Bible, I need to have a something to protect uh, my other pages because if I accidentally get the washi tape over the other pages, it's going to be hard for me to pull it back up and it just makes it difficult. So what I do is I put a protective mat underneath the page that I'm working on and then you can do multiple things. You can, you can make the... Oops, you can see that it because it's so easy to, it's not as adhesive as regular tape. I can just pull it right back up. Uh, if you, were, if I were to use regular tape, that would not have had, that would have devastated results with that because I would have probably ripped my page. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do about halfway. I'm going to take my tape and just eyeball it. You know, if I get it perfect, then yay for me. If I don't get it perfect, I'm not a perfectionist. And if you've watched any of my videos. To me, Bible journaling is always going to be about being in the Word and never about the art that I create. So I have now placed the, the washi tape on the edge of that page. Now what you can do is you can, you know, rip off the edge if you want and fold it under and make it look really nice and clean. You can also cut it as well. You might take a pair of scissors and just trim it up a little bit. kind of made a little bit of a, I don't know if you can see this, but I've kind of made a little bit of an envelope style here. And then what I'll do is I'll move this to this side so I have a hard surface and I'll just fold the washi tape over.
and it takes a lot of like patience and practice to get it just right if you're concerned about getting it just right. Okay. So now I have a little bit of on this side which is perfect because then I can come in here with another piece of washi tape maybe to accent this piece as I'm working on my Bible journaling on this page. So what I might do is come in with maybe I think a gold or a black. Let's go with the gold. I like gold. Okay, and I'll come in and make, you know, a real cute gold line here. Okay, and then I might later come, come in and maybe just put a couple pieces randomly here and there as I'm journaling. So you can see that the washi tape makes a really cute decorative piece and you get so much on a roll and the rolls aren't that expensive that they could go a long way. Okay, But you can see now that I have Genesis done and if you look at the side of my Bible you know, you'll be able to see that Genesis is pink. Okay, So now let's try to do one more because I'm not going to you know, bore you with doing the same thing over and over again. But let's do the next one so you can get a feel for the sec, like what another edge would look like. What is great about doing this as well is if you're going to do any tabs at all in your Bible, a lot of times if you don't, if you put the tab just directly on the Bible page and you use the tab so much, you rip the page. But with the washi tape there, it actually serves as a nice protector. So it's it's more difficult to rip a page that has washi tape on the end of it than it is to just throw a tab in there. Okay, so let's go ahead and do another one. And this time I'm going to go with bigger. I'm going to go bigger and I'm going to go polka dot. Black and white polka dots. Oops, ripped that one. Again, washi tape is really, really thin, so if you do things like I just did, which is just rip it off, um, and it's and, then, and if it's really adhered to the the tape roll, then you're going to rip it. But what I do with these rip pieces is I don't throw them away; I save them, and I'll use them in a card or I'll use them in a Bible journaling, you know, piece later. And you don't have to go all the way up to the top if you don't want to. You can just do, you can go halfway if you want. It just depends on what you're trying to do. And then again, I'm just cutting it. I'm almost making it kind of an envelope style. It just makes it easier to fold over. And I have a little piece hanging off. So with the pieces that either hang off, you either want to fold them over or you want to cut them off because if you don't do that, it will stick to the other pages. <laughs> you'll be turning your Bible page and you'll you'll turn two pages instead of just one. Okay. So you definitely don't want to have any overage hanging. So I cut it. Some people fold it over. It's entirely up to you. Just do what works for you and what you like. So again, I'm making it look almost like an envelope top. Here you're seeing a little bit of a slight edge there, um, an angle with the cut. And I have some over the side here, so I'm going to just trim that off real quickly. Okay. And again, I'm just going to come over here and just fold it down real quickly. No big deal. Okay, and that is what it looks like on this side. So I have one that is ready to go, and one that is ready to also go, but I could also use accent pieces as well. Okay, so that is that. And that's what it looks like with the pink and with black. Okay, so let's just say you messed up. For example, you were trying to do a demo, and you accidentally take two pages together, which is what I just did. Okay, To pull it back up, 
just slowly with your finger, just lift it a little bit, okay? And then gently, gently pull that washi tape back. And you wanna do this quickly. You don't want to wait for it to adhere because um, as things set and as the adhesive sets, uh, you're going to, it's going to be there for a very, very long time. And while it's still kind of moist, I guess is the word, or not stuck down, you can pull that washi tape back. All right. So I was being super quick. I pulled over two pages. All right. So now you can see that there's absolutely no damage there. And that is the wonder of washi tape because you can use it and you can still pull it back if you're not happy with the results. Just be careful when you pull it back so that you don't damage your Bible. Okay, there we go. It's perfect now. And again, I could come in with another piece of washi tape. There's this uh, real cute um, Rejoice in Him washi tape. And I got, I picked this one up from Michael's. And to tear washi tape, I usually just tear it because it's so super thin, but some people like to cut it and that's totally acceptable. All right, so I'm gonna come in here with a little bit of this pink along the edge here. There we go. And I just ripped it, which is exactly what you do with washi tape is rip it. Some people like to cut it and that's totally acceptable. Now what you can come in here is you can do some doodling, you do all kinds of things. Um, but it's almost halfway done, so it makes it makes it really, really easy. So guys, um, that's washi tape for you. It's really fun, super easy to use, um, works really well in the Bible, it makes beautiful pieces, um, does a great job of, of, you know, marking each of the books of the Bible. It does a great job of protecting your pages if you're going to add some tabs in here and you're going to, you know, it really makes that edge more durable. So anytime you use a tab, I always highly recommend you put at least one piece of washi tape down before you put the tab in there. So I hope this video was super helpful um, for you. And if it was, please leave us a comment or put your questions in the comments below and visit us online at BibleDarlingMinistries.com where you can get free resources and free monthly printables every single month. Thanks guys. Have a great day. Bye.